Hello and welcome to today's vlog. We're out and about in London very early again and for the second day in a row. I say very early, it's nine o'clock in the morning but this whole, entire place just seems deserted. London operates on weird time compared to the rest of the world, especially on a Sunday, because it seems like the whole city doesn't wake up until about lunchtime, but then all the shops and everything stay open into the evening, whereas everywhere else in the world, they open in the morning and shut before tea. It's very odd. Pam's wearing a very, very bright wrestling t-shirt this morning yep. as well. We're not gonna lose him today. Clearly. We're on our way back down to Spitalfields Market again where we found the diner yesterday when we were on our way back from the breakfast club looking for Anna's cable thing. We like the diner, so we're gonna go there and grab some breakfast. Breakfast consumed, very pleasant it was too. Our plan now, we're heading back to the hotel, get all our stuff together. We're gonna to record a podcast in there as well. So we didn't do this week's podcast on Friday night, so you'll be able to get the podcast now when this video comes out. The podcast will already exist. You can head over to the MGP channel or iTunes or wherever else to watch that. And then when we're done with that, we're heading back over to Comic-Con for the final day. And it's gonna be marvelous. Hello folks and welcome to MGP 298, I'm Kev. And we... Podcast recorded, it's nearly lunchtime, but don't worry, we had a massive breakfast. We are now gonna head over to Comic-Con for a final look over there. So cue some kind of musical traveling sequence. Finally, we came through general entry because Anna's with us again today. Goodness me, have I got some thoughts on how that process could be improved. It's the first time I've ever come through general entry. I don't care for it. We don't really have much of a plan for in here today because we've been here the last two days. We've bought everything we want to buy. We're kind of just in to soak up the atmosphere for a few more hours. We've got fairly early trains home, so we probably need to be getting out of here maybe three o'clock-ish so that we can head back up to the hotel pick our stuff back up and go and have something to eat before getting on the trains around about tea time. So we're just wandering about, seeing what we see, see if there's any last day bargains to be had. It's just how big this place is that here we are on a Sunday afternoon still finding things that we hadn't seen on the previous two days. Anna's favourite t-shirt company, Tea Turtle. Looks like they're close to being sold out of their t-shirts though, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, they were sold out of almost everything. There was one in particular that I'll put up on the screen now that Anna wanted, but yeah, they're completely sold out. She wanted to wear it to one of her science exams. There you go, she's gonna go and order it from the man and get it delivered. Awesome. Oh. Happy now with your purchase? Yeah, I just want to hear it from the science exams. Are you going to wear it for everyone? Yes, I've only got two left. Awesome. It's going to go, like, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know my next two. They're physics and chemistry. It is the best possible shirt for a science exam when you don't know what you're doing. There are a few things in life that give me greater joy than seeing just how many of these they've got left on Sunday afternoon. <laughs> We're still on the hunt for Isabel from Saga. Anna's now resorted to asking. Did he just laugh when you asked? She goes, now I'm looking for it too. That's what everyone in every stand has said. And it also suggests it's going to be expensive when we finally do find it. So we spoke to a guy in a stall yesterday who said, yeah, I want it as well. I sold the only one I had earlier today. So hang on, you want it yourself, but you managed to get enough money for it that you sold it anyway. That tells me it's not gonna be your, te your traditional 10 to 15 pounds. I've been threatening to do this for about the last three Comic-Cons. I finally have a matcha Kit Kat. <laughs> Little Kit Kat. I suppose it's really nice. 
It smells like a Kit Kat. Oh, it's green. Green. And now I'm going to upset everybody who's ever eaten a Kit Kat. I get lectured about this by people. Tastes a bit like tea. Similar to yesterday, the shelves in the Funko area. Very, very bare. And it's only one o'clock on Sunday. So, Kev's top tip of this video is if you want a Funko convention exclusive, the best bet is to go on a Friday like we did when the shelves were all full. I know they do restock these throughout the day, so there probably is more stuff to come out. But still, there's not much on the shelves right now. One day I'll be brave enough to buy some food here. It smells fantastic, but I'm just a little bit nervous of food cooked in a convention hall. Well, I think this is going to be our final contribution to Comic-Con this year. We're just having a little bit of a rummage through these comics. See? I told you to see comics at some point this weekend. Okay, I lied before. There's more comics here. That's the way out. We're literally looking at this last bunch of comics and then we're going. Well, that is it for London Comic-Con, May 2018. We're still going to be wandering around London for a few hours. What's the matter with you? Pav looks distraught as if you didn't realise we weren't going back in. No, we're fine. We're good. We're good. Good. Our plan now is we're heading over to the cable cars, the Devil's Transport. We're going over to the O2, where I won't be allowed to film, presumably, because they keep telling people not to film over there. So we're heading over to the O2 to have a wagon hammer, and then a slow journey back over to the hotel, pick up our stuff, and then head home. Despite being a little bit more overcast today, it is still properly warm. Too warm. For future record, though, Nowhere near as busy as yesterday. Friday and Sunday, they're the two days to come. Saturday, very, very busy. We're now all wagamamad up, and as I'm going underground at the O2, I assume there's no one to yell at me for using my camera now. So we're now heading back to the hotel to grab our stuff, and then what? The picture was really dark. It was really dark. It's not now. It's because we went from sunshine to down here. I'm um, heading back over to the hotel, and then we're going home. And after a nice bit of relaxation back in the hotel lobby, we are now back at King's Cross, which means we have to say goodbye to Pab for another several months. It's very sad. It's a very sad occasion. You're not going to see this man again until September, potentially. Exactly. Well, last year we saw him in July. We went to Blackpool. No Blackpool this year. Bye bye, Pab. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, Pab. And we're back at Peterborough Station, and it's just turned around from you, showing her back to you. I was talking about everything. We're very, very tired, very, very broken. Just in a rough calculation. I don't wear my Fitbit anymore because it was giving me a rash, but based on the steps Anna did on Friday and, and today, I've done 16 now. and the steps that Pab did yesterday when I was with him, I think I've walked close to 33 miles since we left the house on Friday morning, and it's been warm. Yeah, I'm a broken man. We're back in this lift again. So let's, let's bookend the journey in the same way as we did on Friday morning when we were in this lift. It's an Aurora lift. We're going up to the bridge. And I'm, I'm not going to show you the doors opening because yes, this is probably already a long video. Apparently we are. Here you go. We're on the bridge, everybody. I'm not going to show. I'm not going to show you the doors closing. Yes, sir. Apparently, we're doing that too. <laughs> Never mind how long the video is. You have to. You have to go through this part because when we get home, because we're back a little bit earlier than we'd normally be from stuff like this, Andy will still be awake. So those of you who are hovering around for a bit of Andy time, assuming he's not gone to bed, Andy wants to be on camera. We'll be able to see what he got up to this weekend too. Andy. Hello. Um, we do have a present, yeah. Yes. Daddy has a present, don't we? Oh, no. <laughs> 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 it's Andy. That's for Andy. One. I'll get you a present in a few days. Well, look, it's a, it's a Steve. Yeah. 
Andy! Let's see. From Minecraft. Yeah, I put away. He's not at all impressed. Obviously because he knows we've got all the pop vinyls all around the house, so he assumes that's ours. That's why he laughed when we gave it to him. Because <laughs> he thinks, ah, it's not my present. That's something for you. We wouldn't get Minecraft <laughs> ones. Have you had a good weekend then? Yeah. Andy? Yeah. Have you had a good weekend? Yeah, you're funny. You're watching Sega? You're funny. And what are we doing tomorrow? Blobs. What are we doing tomorrow? Go to Brum. No, where are we going tomorrow? To go to Nottingham. Yes. Dave? Dave. Hello. Oh David? Hello. David? <laughs> Dave? Have you had a good weekend? Not gone and been fine. Hey, we'll have none of that talk. It's not that, but it never changes. Exactly. That's what's good about it. No, it's not. It was an awesome weekend. Uh, but I am now very, very tired. So in order to get you edited it's ready fine. for tomorrow, because I've walked 30 something miles over the I have. We did this, we did the calculations. I've walked 22. Exactly, and you sat on your bum all day yesterday, so I've definitely done 30 something. I have something in my bum So we are gonna end today's vlog there, so I can get this all edited up, ready to go to Nottingham tomorrow. Uh, so if you have enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching.